How the hell are we now? It's like a very effed up magic spell that happens here somewhere between the time I run for the men's room to change and I come back and you're all, you're in the game now. The hecklers, by the way, you're in rare form, please. Just let me get through this is all I'm asking. Because, wow. Two, four, 13. Two, four, one, three. This number has been haunting me, and not for the reasons you think. The numbers themselves have been stuck in my head trying to remind me of something. It was like two, four, one, three. What the hell was it? And I finally remembered it over the weekend. When, and, and to all the people who know me here and the new people who don't, I have a vow of honesty, and it's important because this story takes us into what I call weird <laughs> hill. But when I was a little kid, I had this bright blue powder-coated Fort Knox bank with a slot on top and three rubber legs and a big league chew wrapper under the fourth leg. I don't think that was factory. But the point is, I finally remembered in the midst of the weekend, 2413 or 2413 was the combination to this safe. And I've been, I've been thinking about, I was trying to figure this thing out and, and it, it, you know, it dawned on me and I said, okay, well, I had to come and share that. And I used to take, you know, grandma's birthday money, stick it in there. Any money I won in Three Card Monte Jr. <laughs> Stick it. I was a little kid. Um, you know, any, and basically any sort of adventure or capitalist income went into the little bank. And I would open it up, and there was down the road for me, about a long bicycle ride for a fat kid away, so probably two blocks, <laughs> there was the worst hobby shop and toy store. It was, it was called something like Brent's or something. I don't, I don't remember. But it was, it was this really terrible shop, but yet I would go there, and when I was into superheroes, they had Batmobiles, and they had Wonder Woman, and they had everything. And, and then Star Wars came out, and of course at that point, I was into Darth Vader, because he had management practices that you can see in, in play here today. <laughs> Nothing, okay. I'm still working on it, but I... He's got the asthma. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, so... I went, I went through this place and I kept finding all these things that I, whatever it was I was looking for, it didn't matter how crappy this little place was, it had it. And as I got older, I kept doing that. I just kept evolving what the need was. I kept going, oh, here's, here's a thing. You know, I, I'm into electronics and computers now and I would just wander around computer stores. And there comes a confession, which is the, the true thing beyond the combination. And that is that I spent a lot of my life, well, like carny poor. I mean, like, yeah, the, all the money went to pants. And they're w worth it, absolutely worth it. No question, especially when the dance acts come on. But the thing was, I would watch. <laughs> you guys are in rare form tonight. You're killing me. I would, I would, I would go through all of these places, and and I would watch. All of these things happen around me. Eventually, I got old enough, I realized I was going to nightclubs, doing the same thing that I'd been doing all along, and I had the epiphany that what I was doing was I was standing in a room full of things people wanted. Even, and when you're kind of poor and you start out, you go one of two ways. You either say, mm, bitterness and sense of entitlement, or the one place I did something right in my life, you get kind of Zen master about it. You get kind of minimalist about it. And I finally got to the point I would go and I would just sort of soak up the, hey, a toy store is full of things people want, and that's awesome. And I would just soak that up. I realized standing here that it took a hundred nights of drunken madness in all of my friends, but I built that place I spent my life chasing. And I wanted to thank you all for being a part of that. I mean, I keep telling myself that after a hundred times we should know what the hell we're doing. But we don't. New people, get this through your head. We have no idea what we're doing. But what I do know is that this is the most wondrous place on earth. It is the greatest toy store that I've ever been to. And I'm really, really proud on behalf of all of my friends that make it happen to welcome you to the open stage.